I think uh, all of you know me well enough to know how difficult this decision is for me. Uh, you know, we all go through periods when our personal and our professional lives conflict with our ability to perform what we do in our elected roles. You know, most of the time we can get through that, you know, with the help of our friends and our families, you know, their support and very often trying their patience. Uh, and uh, I've been fortunate over my career to be able to work through all those issues that have come up in the past with everybody's help. Uh, the reason I'm here tonight is that I have now encountered one of those conflicts that, you know, I just can't get through. Uh, even with the patience and the support of all my friends and family, my colleagues on the school committee. But it's not a bad thing. You know, I'll tell you what it is. Some of you already have heard about it, but it's a, 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 it's a really exciting conflict that I have to deal with. Uh, I've accepted a position as the Chief Information Officer for the City of Boston. Uh, uh, it was announced uh, in, the, in the press last week. Uh, it, this role is interesting because it's, it's, for me it's very unique. It really allows me to, uh, I'm not in a rush you know, to leave the school committee by any means, uh, but once I made that decision, I, I wanted to figure out what was the impact to the town and to the school committee on my vacancy. Uh, so I looked at the charter and as uh, the manager just mentioned, uh, the charter is very clear that it does require a special election and that that would be needed. And that said, you know, my personal hope was that we could find a way to make that election as efficient and as inexpensive as possible for the town. So I presented this issue to the town manager last week and I asked him for some direction on what these election requirements were. And what you're looking at tonight is the result of that research that uh, Mr. Driscoll was able to do on, on my behalf. I fully support the manager's proposal for special legislation to print the local school committee election on the November 7th state ballot. It just seems to me to be the logical, efficient way to do this. Uh, based on that plan that you've been presented, uh, today I did submit my formal resignation to the town clerk with an effective date of November 1, 2006. I very much appreciate the council's support on this request. I believe it is the right way to go for the town, and uh, a smooth succession here might make me feel a little bit better about what I'm doing here. Uh, I do hate leaving the school committee a little early, but before I you know, leave you tonight, I just wanted to say to the council and to the folks at home that the Watertown public school system is in good shape and it's in good hands. We have a great school committee. They're collaborative. They'll be terrific and they'll be collaborative after I'm gone as well. I've been very lucky in this town. I've had several elected roles. I was privileged to serve with some very fine people on our first town council over 20 years ago. And I defied the odds by finding an equally effective and respectful group when I arrived at the Watertown School Committee three years ago. We have smoothly moved through a transition in leadership, one that this town was very worried about three years ago, and now have established and have an established and effective leadership team in place. This leadership team partnered with the great teachers that we have in Watertown are really committed to improve student achievement in this community. We have widespread support from the community from involved parents and grandparents, from the business community and the citizens at large, and we have specific support, specific support from this council and from Mr. Driscoll. And that's evidenced by our current operating budget, what was approved during the budget process this year, our small class sizes, and our great school facilities. And most of all, we have great kids. We've always had great kids. As the future of the community, that's what this is all about. We graduated another class just over a week ago, and for the second year in a row, 90% of our Watertown High graduates will go on to higher education. They will be the evidence of our improving school district. There is a lot more to be done, but we have a great, solid foundation to achieve the improvements we know are necessary to educate our kids in the 21st century. 